thank you thank you so much yeah I, i'm excited uh, you can hear a passion in my voice because i've been doing it now for oh my goodness about 30 over 30 years in the electric vehicle space and uh, the renewable space so you're a true expert like this is not you didn't just get into it because it was a money-making opportunity you got into it as a true visionary and a forerunner yeah so, yeah all right question three if you could have dinner with any historical figure in energy innovation, who would it be and what would you ask them? It would be, I think it would be Thomas Edison. Oh. Um, and uh, I would like to ask him uh, whether, uh, you know, his contribution towards the electrical transformation, whether he would have done anything different um whether they you know if he could have seen the future what would he have done different uh for his contribution towards our uh electricity well very i appreciate that very much question eight what's the most exciting potential application of ai in renewable energy that you've encountered i think of advanced ai implementation with today's renewable energy sector uh, is most important. I, I really, I'm excited to see how it develops uh, for the good. I, I hear a lot of, um, let me say, skepticism, but fear mm -hmm. about AI. Uh, and I think we've yet to see the application uh, the where it's a wow factor. It's like, wow, we never thought of that. How brilliant it is, you know. It, it's important that we understand it. Yes. It, it, you know, um, there's some bad stuff out there. We have to understand it to know that it's it's bad and not good for us. Uh, otherwise, it would be just ignorance. If we just turned a blind eye and says, I don't want to know anything about this AI stuff, this technology stuff, that would be even worse. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Does that just bring when you when you're in those settings? Does it just bring you back to that time? And do you all of a sudden feel like you're? I don't know how old you were at that time, but do you just time warp back to those moments and all of a sudden feel like you're a kid again? I do. Yeah, Social media is bringing the old stuff back, and it's like, oh, this is a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I could talk to you about this stuff for four hours. Okay, so <laughs> what I would like for you to do. Uh, the, the final word is yours. So anything that's on your heart to share, share, but also make sure that you plug or you share, you promote the what where, where people can follow you and support what you're doing, where they can learn more about the amazing opportunities that you're helping create for people. The floor is yours. Share away. Well, thank you, Joshua. This has been one of my favorite favorite interviews really as i i love your style it's great and uh so uh, you know if i could say anything to especially the young people that are listening to your show uh is that have a passion uh for whatever you do and i i hope for you that that passion is something that is better for mankind uh but if you do something that you with the passion it's it it's not work anymore and you know don't consider uh you won't be a failure if you get it pick yourself up but follow your dreams uh aim high